Okay, I thought I'd uh, make a video adding a few things that were suggested in comments. And let's see here. Uh, let me change the resistance. I didn't do that in the first video. I'm going to turn this. Okay, this is about. Let me make sure here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is about 1K on the emitter, that variable resistor. And now that 10K is up all the way, so we got about 11K now. So I'm going to move this back to uh, not about in the middle, something like that. Okay. Now, one thing that the, was suggested was what would happen if you put capacitors on the base and for a uh, common base and it this circuit does have aspects of that uh, element and it also has aspects of a emitter follower and uh, coal pits also so I'm not quite sure what this is. But anyway, I've got uh, this set up and I've got three capacitors that I'm going to connect. The first one is a 68 Pico. And that's what it's done to the trace. It looks like it's taking energy away. Now I got a dot oh one here that I'm gonna plug in. Okay, that's interesting. Now I got a dot oh four seven right here. And that's about the same. Alrighty, so I'm going to disconnect this, go back to the original setup. Now someone was asking what would happen if you put a variable capacitor across the secondary. So I've got one here, and it is a uh, about 38 pico to about uh, 330. So let me hook this up. Let's see, let me make sure I've got that. Oh, got to move this one more over. There we go. Okay, now it's set at uh, the variable capacitor is at about 38 picofarad. Now I'm going to increase the capacitance. And of course the frequency is becoming lower. And you can see that when I go too far it actually stop oscillating. Whoops, I think I might have a loose wire here. I unplugged it. Let me try that again. It's one of the problems with a breadboard. Get all kinds of loose wires. Now I'm just touching both sides of that capacitor. I'm trying to do this a little bit easier here. And now, now we're up to about 300. 
Yeah, I did have loose wire before. It's one of the hazards of a breadboard. So you have to keep uh, testing to get your results consistent. Okay, yeah. That's 300. Okay, so I hope this helps. I don't know if it helps identify the circuit or not. I'm going to take this capacitor out. But uh, I was surprised at this circuit that it oscillated so well. Usually when you're well, I wasn't trying to make an oscillator, but if you're trying to make an oscillator, you usually got troubles getting it to oscillate. Okay, this is back to about 1K on the emitter resistor, and now I'm going to go and keep turning this up, and now this is about 11K again. Now I'm going to go about halfway. There we are. So, I hope this helps. It certainly is interesting. And thanks again for watching.